Hi everyone and welcome to today's class for insomnia. This class will help you to let go of your thoughts that are often ongoing and it will help you to fall asleep. Take a deep breath in and out. Maybe one more. Fully come to stillness here. Come back to your normal breath. And slowly open your eyes, reach both of your arms up high, grab your right wrist with your left hand, step your right foot over your left foot and then lean over to the left side. Take deep breaths here. Maybe try to look up to the ceiling. Then come back to center, switch sides, grab your left wrist, step the left leg over the right and lean over to the right side. Roll your ribcage open to the ceiling. Maybe look up and maybe you even smile. And come back to center, come to the top of your mat and slowly start to roll down to a forward bend. So we start with the head, let it get heavier and heavier. Your arms are getting heavy, your shoulders are moving down. Slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra until you come down to your forward bend. You can grab opposite elbows and let your head hang heavy. We we'll stay here for a couple of breaths. It's okay if your knees are bent slightly. Maybe swing your elbows from left to right to find some stillness here in your mind. Let your torso and your head get heavier and heavier. Then slowly let go of your elbows and step back to a downward facing dog. Just for a moment, we don't stay here and lower down your knees and come to a table pose. Find your table pose first. Maybe walk a little bit back on your mat and then walk your hands forward and come to puppy pose. So you can either stay up here and lower your head down on a block or a bolster, or you can fully lower down and bring your forehead down on the mat, or even your chin.
Then slowly come back to your table pose. Spread your knees out wide. Bring your big toes together to touch and lower down on your heels and come to child's pose. Again, your head can rest on a block or bolster here or you bring your forehead down on the mat. Take deep belly breaths here. Relax your whole belly. No one can see it now. Just let it fall between your thighs. Relax your shoulders and the spot between your shoulders. Your arms are getting heavy here. And your hips are relaxing down more and more. slowly press your hands into the mat lift your head up just a little bit lift your right hand up and slide it under your torso over to the left side and gently lower back down to your child's pose only put as much pressure into your shoulder so that it feels good and if you don't feel any stretch in your shoulder i personally like to Focus more on the left shoulder. So let the left shoulder come down a little more and this somehow increases the leverage on the right shoulder. And slowly lift up again, bring the right hand to the front and slide the left arm over to the right side and lower back down to your child's pose. So bring your forehead back down on the mat or on a block or bolster. And slowly lift back up. Bring both of your hands to the front. And come up and come to a seating position on your mat. Our next pose will be a double pigeon pose. So sit down on your mat and first bring your left leg down on the mat so that your left knee is parallel with one side of your mat. 
and then bring your right leg right above it so that your right ankle is on top of the left knee and that your um, right knee is on top of the left ankle or the left foot. Make sure that both of them are parallel to one end of the mat and keep both of your sitting bones grounded down on the mat. You can bring a block or a bolster here in between your knee and your foot and you can either stay here or if it feels good you can walk your hands forward a little bit and bend over your legs to intensify the stretch in the hips. And slowly come back up and we switch sides so bring the right leg down on the mat first and then stack your left leg on top again your knees your knee and your ankles are on top of each other and really make sure to keep them parallel if you don't feel any stretch in your hips just walk your feet a little bit forward and you will feel this really nice and gentle stretch in your hips. Then start to walk your hands forward. Let your torso fall over your legs a little bit. And slow down your breaths. And slowly come back up and lay down on your back. Before we come to our final resting pose, we will do one more pose here where you bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall to the sides. You can bring a block, a bolster or a pillow under your knees if this doesn't feel comfortable for you. Then bring one hand on your heart and one on your belly and come back to your breath. Inhale and exhale.
can stay here in this pose for your final resting position or you can extend your legs out to the sides bring your arms next to you and come to Shavasana let your body get heavy relax your feet your legs your hips your torso your shoulders your arms and your head Shavasana And slowly deepen your breath. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Stretch your whole body and roll over to one side. Take one deep breath here. Then come up to a seated position on your mat. And before we end today's session, I want to do my favorite breathing exercise if I can't fall asleep. And this breathing exercise is called box breathing. And we call it box breathing because when you breathe, imagine a little box in front of you. So we will inhale for the count of four, then we will hold the breath for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, and hold for the count of four. So imagine to draw this little box in front of you while you breathe and this will help you to stay focused on the breath and it will also help you to slow down and relax so let's get started you can close your eyes we take one breath in and out first so inhale and exhale and let's start our box breathing inhale for four Hold for four. Exhale for four. And hold for four. In for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. And hold for four. In for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. And hold for four. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, and hold.
continue on your own. Finish the cycle. Then come back to normal breathing. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. I hope you sleep well tonight. Namaste.